Hello, BookTube and AuthorTube. Today, hoping there are no interruptions, um, I want to talk about the progress of my NaNoWriMo project. Um, for those of you who don't know, I participated in NaNoWriMo this past year, and I wrote a, I guess what, sorry about, sorry about that. Um, a, um, not quite a novel, it was, it's more of like a novelette or novella. Um, and I've been toying with whether I should stick with the link that's gotten to or try to expand it in some way, shape, or form to make it a 50,000 word or more novel. And so I've been playing with uh, varying um, options and ways I can expand the narrative, add more pop plot complications, that sort of thing. Um, so I've been doing that. I'm quite happy with some of the ideas I've come up with. I've also changed a few ideas um, that I had going in. Um, so basically, the initial plan was for the protagonist, Zazariel, to be staying with um, local nobility. That this noble family were longtime allies and friends of Zazariel's teacher. And after uh, the teacher's death, Zazariel flees to them for shelter and protection and aid. I never quite liked that idea. Um, my original idea for that was for Zazariel to just stay at an inn, a hotel, and gradually acclimate himself to the city, become a part of the city, and find his own lodgings and make the city his own. And I've kind of gone back to that idea. And I'm liking where that's going. Um, I've also, um, there's a long stretch of a story where um, Zazariel and some friends, uh, allies, go off to a nearby swamp area to uh, fight a um, witch that's been attacking the city. Um, although Zazariel has a, another agenda for going. Um, it never really worked, I don't think. That just, it was like a random, yeah, side arc or side quest or something that just never really felt quite right. So instead, I'm taking the witch and moving her to the city and having her be just a witch in the city uh, who may be more of an ally to Zazariel instead of an antagonist to him. So we'll see about that and how exactly I want to progress with that. Um, I've also done some more work with the uh, main antagonist, um, kind of improving his motivations, really looking at why he's doing what he's doing, and also trying to get the community, the uh, government, that sort of thing, more involved with the immediate plot and really focus on the city that Zezreel goes to as sort of more important than I've had it, I think. I've also decided to cut down on a certain tendency I have in some of my works that if you would like me to talk more about that, may I sound off in the comments. Um, so I'm basically, it's in the original version, Zazariel has 
three lovers. And yeah, that's really, yeah, does it, I mean, really make a whole lot of sense. And so I'm going to cut that, the number down to probably just one. And maybe have a bit of a more focus on that than what I had it. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, what else? So, when am I going to actually start the rewrite? Um, I want to do some more work on the look of the city, uh, get a better feel for the city, a better description, layout, that sort of thing. Um, also need to do that for the place where uh, Zazeril learned magic. Uh, that definitely needs some. And I also want to research um, clay sculpting because that has a major influence, uh, major scenes revolving around clay sculpting. And in the original version, I sort of covered, no, I glossed over that. But I think maybe it would actually be an important... Um, scene to act like characterization scene to actually cover that so i i'm going to hopefully when i go to the library tomorrow i will remember to pick up uh the book on uh sculpting with clay or i think it's just a general sculpting book and hopefully that'll um get me in the put me in the right direction of what exactly to do and also watch some videos on YouTube, which so far I'm actually kind of disappointed with. Um, there isn't really that sort of uh, like Art Sherpa or um, Ginger Cook or Peter Woods um, or like Kara Margulis, Marla Baguetta, the um, artists that actually like take the time to really, yeah, long form tutorial. I haven't yet seen any from like sculpting or clay sculpting. So yeah, hopefully I'll keep looking and I'll find something good and something more helpful. As far as other types of research, I'm not entirely sure if I need to do anything like that, but until, but I'll let you know, cause I'm hoping I'll like every Thursday I will do a writing update unless there's like nothing major going on so but if everything goes how I want it to hopefully in the next week or two I'll start the rewriting and if not it'll probably be the beginning of February but so until then thank you booktube and authortube I will see you tomorrow